When you step on the brake pedal, you expect to stop in the shortest distance possible. When roads are slippery due to ice, snow, rain, or even when they are dry on a sunny day, stopping quickly and maintaining control of the vehicle can be a challenge. As soon as the tires lock, stop turning and begin to skid, control of the vehicle is gone and the braking distance has just dramatically increased. If you received your driver's license before 1990, you were taught to pump the brake pedal to shorten the stopping distance and maintain control of the vehicle. Students today are taught to stomp on the brake pedal, stay on the pedal, don't pump the brakes, and steer in the direction you want the vehicle to go. This change in technique was due to the introduction of the anti-lock braking system, or ABS, on today's vehicles. In most systems, a sensor is located near each wheel hub that sends a signal to the vehicle's computer indicating wheel speed. It is critical to the operation of the system that this signal be extremely accurate in all speed ranges. For this reason, Wells has conceived, built, and utilizes a variable speed testing station for every ABS wheel speed sensor we manufacture. To begin the testing process, the sensor is placed in a gauge carrier designed to eliminate any possibility of human error. The carrier moves the sensor near two rotating rings at precisely the same gap at which it will be on the vehicle. In the meantime, a sophisticated computer system is tracking and recording the signal outputs to determine the sensor's integrity. When the sensor passes, it is laser date coded. Any sensors that fail are not coded and are immediately trashed. Wells again takes every step possible to ensure your safety and confidence.